here. I thought I was being all prepared and organized. I forgot to turn my interface on. But I got this thing. <laughs> Goodness. All right, well, enough of that. I'm going to just start practicing future sounds. Thought I would share. I've had this book for David Garibaldi's Future Sounds. I don't know when it was originally published. Let's see. Is there a date that's not Roman numerals? I mean, it's been around for 40 years, probably. Reprinted by um, Alfred currently, I think. Classic book. I've owned it probably for 20 years and never practiced it. So I figured, is there still something weird going on here? You can hear me all right. I get in this like audio bit rate is not, just close that. All right. Yeah, you can hear, cool. All right. It looked like OBS is getting sound. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna just go through this kind of forced myself to practice um, if this whole concept of this book if you're not familiar with it again I'd highly recommend it it's permutating getting getting training your ear to hear grooves starting not on the one um, so what I did was I programmed just a kick and snare pattern here let's see yeah basic kick and snare pattern that will force me and you to hear these grooves against the proper quarter note. So the first the whole section of this is paradiddles as eighth notes. Kick drum plays all four. Right hand's on the hi-hat, left hand's on the snare, accenting the first note of each paradiddle. So straight down the middle, goes like this. Not too difficult. Next one, the paradiddle starts on the and of one. And two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. But the kick stays on all four. One, two, three, four. Going back and forth between number one and two. Number three, the paradiddle starts on beats two and four. Four, the paradiddle, paradiddle starts on the and of two and the and of four. I want to do all of them in a row, two times each. One. I'm at 72 BPM, which is the slowest tempo that Garibaldi recommends in the book.
All right. What's up, Connor? I'll answer any questions, any and all questions. Gear question. Um, have you ever reviewed the Starphonic series? Yes, those are some of the best snare drums out there, especially for the money. Can't recommend them enough. Tama kicks butt with their hardware above and beyond anything else. The shells, I mean, shells are shells. They're well made, different material sounds as you would expect it to be. But their hardware is, is probably second to none. So yeah, Starphonic series, all of them, all great. Highly recommended. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna bump up the tempo to the, the maximum that Garibaldi recommends, 144, which is twice as fast as we just were. Same thing, go through those first four. I'm gonna do, 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 I'm gonna do each one four times now. Not bad, ended up doing number three an extra town time because I was looking at my switcher. Um, yeah, I think Future Sounds is a book that everyone, everyone who goes through any kind of formal study at one point messes around with, but I'm really curious how many people actually get to the end of it. And more importantly, know what to do with it <laughs> once they've worked through it, so. Um, the next four, five, six, seven, eight, take the single basic paradiddle but move the accent to each partial. So I'm going to do all four of those in a row. Let's go back down 72 just to get the. So I'll do two times in a row at 72. Look at the screen. So starting over five to eight, two times each. One, two, three. weird at that tempo but at slow tempos I'm trying to get rid of all flaming striving for complete accuracy and control while also keeping it relaxed now we're at 144 and I'm going to try to let it get the flow same thing 5 to 8 which is just moving the accent from the first to the second to the third to the fourth note of the paradiddle I will do it four times each Now, what do you do from here? Most of us, myself included, would say, cool, let's move on to the next section. and Let's just go page by page and get all the way to the end of the book so we can say we've completed the book. I'm going to borrow from the Gary Chafee concept and stop and say, all right, we've got these eight variations, which is either the paradiddle moving to different starting points or moving the accent of a paradiddle to different points. Can I improvise at these tempos? I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle. 102. Um, can I improvise with just these concepts and make some kind of sense out of it? I 
don't know if I kept the phrasing. So I'm trying to keep four bar phrasing here. Maybe I should do this. This is the cool part about a drum machine is you can make it a four bar phrase and I'll put like a crash. I put a vibra slap every four bars. So let's see here. Just let the record it in. I have to do the rest of the kick and snare. Old school. <laughs> I should be looping now. Let's put this vibra slap on beat one. One, two, three, and all right. Now, there we go. Now it's a four bar phrase. I'm gonna improvise four bar phrases using this material. it up to 144. I'm trying not to even think about what I'm playing. I'm just letting the muscle memory from the practice kind of take over. So on and so forth. I think we can maybe, even though it doesn't recommend it, I'm gonna go to 180. Don't know what I was trying to do there. Let's see if I can figure it out. All right, so that's just one, one way to use this stuff to make it make sense when you're actually playing. Um, I don't know that I would necessarily mix it up like that too often. Maybe some, some situations where we're really kind of being creative, but more importantly, it helps just hear, 
helps you with ear training to be able to hear where where does the four bar phrase land? Where does the pulse land against all these syncopated displaced variations to the point where you just don't get lost? That's the goal. Because the last thing you want is for your downbeat to start shifting whenever these things get displaced. So the next section says the inverted single paradiddle. There's only four of them. So what is he doing here? Interesting, he's accenting both of the singles of the paradiddle. Starts with the double, and then both of the singles get accented. And then that moves through the different permutations. So let's get our trusty drum loop here. Back to 72, keep ourselves honest. it up. Performance tempo 144. All right, now this sucker moves. So the inverted paradiddle now starts on the end of one. So one and two and three and four and let's go back down to 72. Now, what I'm trying to do with this one is not hear it as a new rhythm, but hear the paradiddle just starting on the end of one. All right, pretty weird. Next one. The paradiddle starts on beat two, so just a regular paradiddle now with the accents on the first two notes. And then lastly, the inverted paradiddle starts on the end of two and end of four. Do them all in a row.
bump it up to 144. Same thing. Two. Okay, something I just realized as I was going through those, now that we're at the improvising stage, I can't really th think of it as an inverted paradiddle anymore. I just think of it as accenting the single notes of a paradiddle and then just permutate the paradiddle. But I'll start with that inverted thing. Let's just try it up the tempo and see. So now I'm improvising with these ideas of accenting the two single notes of a paradiddle and then permutating that around. I am going to start with the inverted version. Yeah, there's no way I could think of that mentally as inverted paradiddles because they're just moving around. I have to think of it as um, just accenting the singles. Uh, what if we speed this up some? That was 144. Let's go 190. What's that feel like? That'd be crazy. starts to get into like double paradiddles and paradiddle diddles just kind of happen naturally because those are well ingrained in my muscle memory as well. Anyway, that's how to how I would suggest practicing this material. And I'm gonna go on maybe to the next section. I think it goes to triplets. Yeah, we'll do one more section. Future sounds. Like get David Garibaldi, get yourself a copy, buy a copy, don't get a pirated copy. Um, he does still make royalties on this thing. All right, so now we're doing a triplet subdivision, so it's a shuffle groove, and then with paradiddles over the top of it. So starting tempo of 60. on this type of speed and just a basic shuffle to start.
So that's going to be what we return to each time. That's like our home base, and it goes to just alternating singles. No, actually, no, there's two home base. So that's one home base. The second home base is alternating um, singles as triplets. Connor, what are you asking? I've been working on playing a PDD, a double PD and a PD. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about double kick. Okay, I gotcha. Paradiddle diddle, double paradiddle, and a paradiddle in a row. So paradiddle diddle, double paradiddle. What was that in four four? Right, so let me try that back to sixteenths. Let's go to like a hundred. No, that's too fast. Let's go to ninety. Thinking about like doubling all the right hand notes. What is that? Sound? Try playing the double paradiddle first. That don't work. Let's see. All right, so I'm doing double paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle diddle. So just starting on the double paradiddle and, and going forward. Uh, and then what if you start with the paradiddle? Um, it's gonna be a left paradiddle. That's a weird one. Let's try that one again. So it starts with the left paradiddle. See if I can go, let's go faster. 
120. I'm gonna play your original one first. There it is. Took a minute for my brain to scramble back. I think I got through them all in a row. Let me try that again. So I'm doing paradiddle diddle, double paradiddle, paradiddle, four times, I think, and then going to the double single paradiddle diddle, and then going paradiddle, paradiddle diddle, double paradiddle. I think. I think there's a double left, right? What's coming out of that second variation? Um, double paradiddle, starting with the double paradiddle. That should be three with the left. Good Lord, here we go. Start over. Not super clean. I'm gonna try one more time all the way through. It's a cool exercise. Shiitake. It says double the triple lefts. I'm gonna get it.
every time it hits me with the nerve, we're gonna slow it down. Although I like the way that's flowing. 100. got scrambled but it's easier to do those threes one more time at that tempo or not Go back up to where I want it to be, 120. Lost my place, dang it. Good grief. One more time, last time. Whew, I need a break. Need a break. Those three lefts in a row are Wicked. Shredding my sticks too. Time for some new sticks. Thanks for the idea, Connor. That was awesome. Um, I will come back to that. What was I doing though? Oh, triplets. Good grief. You derailed me, bro. All right. 60. We'll go 80. So a home base is a shuffle or alternating triplets. I'm going to do alternating triplets. So my home base groove is just triplets accenting two and four. Now the almighty triplets, I mean the almighty paradiddle with a triplet subdivision, which takes two bars to cycle back. We're going to go from our straight alternating groove four times into that paradiddle thing.
So I just did all the permutations of that triplet paradiddle, starting on the first beat, the second partial, the triplet, third partial, and then starting on beat two and four, I believe. Yeah. Let's go up, up a tempo. And then we're gonna come back to that paradiddle thing. All right, so his performance tempo is 128. Let's see what that sounds like. I want to do them all again in a row. Pretty cool. Now I've done a lot of quarter, you know, half note triplet practice over the years, so I can't say this is the first time I've ever done this, but it's still kind of cool to focus on it. How do you improvise with it though? Let's see. I'll try improvising two bar phrases. That doesn't feel nearly as natural, just because it's a, it's like a, it's a hemium. What do you call that? An implied metric modulation that you can't really improvise in it. You kind of have to pick one and go with it. So that would be what I would do in my next session. What I'll do it now. Is just instead of changing it up within the two bars, just pick one of the variations every two bars, kind of randomly. I think that's more of a, it's leading me down to um, hitting the crash not on one, like where does the triplet, where does the different um, paradiddle triplet variation resolve naturally? So let's go with that first one. The first one resolves naturally on one, the second one does not. So this is starting in the middle partial of a triplet.
so I can see where I, if I, if I break the bass drum out of just playing time and have it follow those, those, um, those modulations, it could be some cool deceptive resolutions and stuff. We'll come back to that. I'm going to go back to Connor's paradiddle thingy. Was it 120? Let's see if I can just cold go through them all. So paradiddle, diddle, double paradiddle, paradiddle, and then shifting to double paradiddle, 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 diddle, and then shifting again, paradiddle, paradiddle, diddle, double paradiddle. Wish me luck. Boom, my brain just needed time to process the information. I think I would probably do some sort of variation to not have that triple left hand in there, but I did it, I got through it. Awesome exercise. Everyone steal that, practice that, try your own versions. I was doubling all the right hands, but obviously you don't need to do that. You could just play the kick on the first of each rudiment. Try that going through those permutations. Those three lefts, man, it's killing me. So I think gotta put a kick in that single paradiddle just to make it there's a kick in each one so Let's try that second one. So it's going double paradiddle, 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 diddle. Or not, try it again. Third version, starting with the paradiddle. So all three, not in a row, but alternating with a group. Second one is weird. Start the second one again.
I had it, I just didn't trust myself. I'm gonna do them all in a row, here we go. Forgetting the third one starts with the snare. One more time, all the way through. Boom, so many variations. That is it. I have practiced my hour for the day. Thank you for that. And all somewhat inspired by uh, Future Sounds. So not too far off topic. Just get yourself a copy if you don't have it. Future Sounds, get another copy if you lost yours. Work through it patiently. Understanding that it's ear training more than it is anything else. Um, at least for me, hearing displaced grooves without shifting my internal clock. That's the goal with it. So anyway, I've got to hop off. Got some meetings and some work to do. Thank those of you who logged on. Connor, thank you for the lesson. I will pay value. <laughs> Have a good one. I'll probably be back in around noon tomorrow. See ya.